A Corvette is always a sight to behold, and finding one that needs resurrection is always a challenge. Forget early C1s through C3s. That drops us squarely in C4 territory. An 88? Well, who knows? The 35th anniversary may attract some extra attention down the road. We'll soon see if techs and celebs will give any props to this Arizona desert derelict after some SoCal TLC. Figuring out how to get the motor out, figuring out what we needed to disassemble on the vehicle to get the motor to come out of the vehicle. That was the biggest adventure of the day. The Corvette is not a simple car. Some say it was never meant to be. It's a notch above, a challenge to its competition. Whether that competition is at a track or a traffic light, it is elegant and complex at the same time. No other bow tie is designed or built like it. And you never really know Detroit technology until you've met a Corvette. What may seem simple at first glance can turn into a challenge in a heartbeat. With the support structure out of the way, the guys can get onto a little more old school teardown. The back end pipes and mufflers chop without a hitch. But what this team is real curious over is the color of what's in the pan. Pure black. Is this the first sign of past abuse? The old filter confirms their suspicion. This is gonna get dirty from the pipes on up. Mike and Craig are ready for the biggest leap so far, the power plant extraction. Yeah. Corvettes are a considerably small car and they got this considerably large V8 in them. So um, we knew we were up against quite a bit. The condition of the engine that was pulled out is really nice. Um, the car says it's got over 100,000 miles on it, however the engine has very little leaks. I'm betting that the engine is fairly new. Well, there's clips on the inside, but we can't get to them without taking out the glass. The younger members of this team will learn fast what veteran builders already know. Beauty isn't always cooperative, but things can change fast when you put some effort into it. For the gold pinstripe, I'm using a Zenith Gold Pearl base coat for the actual stripe line. And then I went back over it with the Dell Gold NBC Pearl, which will give it sparkle in the sun like no one's ever seen. It's amazing. Because I'm going to lay out uh, almost like a two-tone, but just on the top of the car in black. But what I need to do is I want to have a gold pinstripe that's really clean, so I'm going to paint the gold first after I lay out the graphic. Mask that off with eighth inch tape. Paint black, cover all that, and then just paint the checkered flags underneath it. Unlike some designers, Steve prefers to shoot from the hip. Instead of designing at a table and then onto the car, Steve sees the car as a blank palette. Then it truly is freehand art. One thing that you can do with graphics actually is create movement and create actual speed. You can actually make a vehicle look like it's moving when it's sitting still. And that's kind of the idea behind like the traditional flame thing or even like a checkered flag waving down the side gives you that, you know, that look of that it's actually moving and you try to get that, you know, that drama into the paint job. I think we've done a really good job achieving that race kind of look that Daryl was looking for. Mission accomplished. After I removed the parts, I took them out to the solvent tank and washed them off, got most of the grunge and grime off them, so when we assemble the motor back together, it looks somewhat presentable. A part salvage and cleanup is definitely not a shortcut. The reasoning behind using old parts is they're specifically designed for the Corvette. The Corvette has very limited space in the engine compartment, and these brackets keep everything nice and tight. Worst can happen if we try it and it doesn't fit, we'll have to lift the car up some more. Worst can happen. Uh, there's a little bit more involved with dropping the engine than we were expecting today, uh, especially since we're putting a new six-speed transmission up against this motor. Uh, this car never came with it, so when we went to slide it in, uh, things didn't exactly line up as they were supposed to, so we had to do a little bit of finessing with the pry bar today and get the motor to drop down in. Dropped it in place. This power package is getting closer to finished. A quick lift and it's on to the mounts. Keesler supplies all the brackets in order to just bolt the engine and transmission right into place. When suppliers show up at a shop to customize their product, you know they realize the magnitude of the outcome. But that is what exhaust is all about. Cadillac is a catalytic converter. Uh, many people are not restoring them, they're hot rodding these vehicles, um, therefore they definitely want 
a performance level um, that is more than what is provided by the factory. So you want a uh, long tube style header, you want a free-flowing catalytic converter when possible, and free-flowing mufflers as well with mandrel bent tubes to join all these parts together. With the, uh, with the new interior kit that, that was provided for the Corvette, Mauricio redid the seats, the, the carpet, and virtually all the interior for us, so it'll look like a, a, a new Corvette in, inside now. Explode sound and a sweet new interior? Gentlemen, don your shades. You'll want to take this dream car out of the garage. Steps involved with putting on the new brakes was simply remove the old ones, um, as far as remove the, the brake line, um, the caliper, rotor. Even the discs and calipers demand glamour on this fiberglass gem. We installed bare racing brakes. The advantage of these brakes is the rotors are considerably larger. Um, they're also cross-drilled and slotted to vent, so it, it releases the, the gas. The new brakes will outperform the old ones. Reliability must always surpass cosmetic appeal. The brakes, along with the BF Goodrich tires and the American racing wheels, will give this Corvette uh, a lot better road handling characteristics. It'll, uh, it'll allow this vehicle to stop a lot better. It'll clearly look a lot better than, than what a, a basic 88 Corvette looked like. At this stage of the build, assembly requires meticulous attention to detail, from hose connections to the intake bolt down. One missed turn of a clamp screw or blown ratchet torque will throw more than a wrench into the works. Kevin is the shop closer, the button-up man. Swapping to chrome and aluminum also gives him a second chance to inspect the top end components. This is where experience is paramount in the process. What might seem matter-of-fact rudimentary is the result of knowing the frustration of a careless setback. His job isn't just to move the project forward. As the senior tech, he's the last line of torque down the fence. He'll check that everyone else has done their job. If you're looking ahead, new glass never hurts to frame your view. These heavy-duty tools are pretty specific to the auto glass trade. With the windshield out, this precision job is underway. Skillfully laying down beads of sealer ensures the windshield will drop into a perfect fit. The pressure pushes once the glass is seated. This is not for unskilled hands. It's all about even displacement. Clear glass is pure function. Well, to remove the top, it's a little process. There's a lot of moldings you have to remove. The brackets that hold the molding, seals, a lot of screws, a lot of glue. We just got to pull, tug, pull it off. So it doesn't scratch. On a rag top, tension is everything. But Junior's crew has overhauled hundreds like this before. This tensions the top down when the top is closed. It pulls right on the sides right here. I mean, we switching the top from going beige to black is a big improvement. That beige really gave it a contrast. It just didn't go with the flow of the car. The car has checkered flags down the middle with a black center. The black top just made it look happening. For me and the CCR crew, the joy has always been in refurbishing and rebuilding. We hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Dan Woods. The open road and any fully revamped vet, it really is a seduction. <laughs>